I have a question that I, I myself have to know. It's often been theorized here on VNP. Okay. Can you run a car entirely on boost? Oh my gosh, that question. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the bane of my existence. <laughs> the answer is vehemently no. <laughs> like, no you can't it. do it. You just lost me 20 bucks. Uh, I know, man. I'm sorry. Like... What's going on, everybody? Chuck here with VMP Performance, and today I have Ian, the owner of Boostane, and uh, we're going to go over a little bit about what makes Boostane a great product why we trust Boostane here at VNP, and then we've actually got a Focus ST out on the dyno. We're gonna make a baseline Ooh. pull, All right. throw some of this beloved product in there, and see what kind of power we can pick up on just adding Boostane to the tank, not changing the tune, anything at all. I didn't know we had something on the dyno, so. Yeah, this is gonna be live exciting. action here. We're gonna test it out, see what's going on. We're gonna make you prove your product here live. There it is. No test runs. The, the product is designed to be a race fuel alternative. It came out of my senior exit thesis when I was at uh, Georgia Tech. Uh, getting my engineering degree. My old man was racing offshore power boats, uh, needed a way to create high octane for the big power he was putting out in his boat. You know, some of those boats are regularly 2,000 horsepower per motor, and there's two of them. Wide open for a long time. Yeah, wide open throttle. <laughs> like, there is no transmission there. You know, he was just having a lot of difficulty bringing race fuel big drums of race fuel. So we tried other octane boosters and like a lot of people are, are aware out there, they really don't work. A lot of them don't, or at least they have some shortcomings that make them not as reliable as some folks would like. It's uh, it's funny, you know, I've been at VMP a couple years now and when I first started here, there was always this like, yeah, you know, we'll throw some boost in the tank, it'll, it'll pick up 50 or something like that. And I'm like, mm -hmm. I'm remembering back to my days when I was like working at O'Reilly's in high school. Mm -hmm. And I had my RSX Type S that was, you know, it was the fastest car in the world. Oh, right? yeah. And yeah. I would throw the STP <laughs> Octane Booster in it because it yeah. was a race car and whatnot. Yeah. That's what I was thinking yeah. of when I started here. Like, hey, we're going to throw an Octane Booster in this thing and it's going to pick up horsepower right. Yeah. I'm sure it is. And then the first time I watched it happen, I was like, hold on. This is not your off-the-shelf O'Reilly AutoZone Octane Booster. And that's what we've been working on, getting away from getting away from that. But, you know, been lucky enough to, to stick it out in the industry and win some awards along the way that have helped uh, establish us, yeah. you know? And then, you know, working with folks like VMP that know how to use the product, know how to get the most out of it, and then educating the, the end user, which is the most important part. You know, it's one thing that I have to caution our customers away from a lot, because they say, well, how many bottles do I need? And it's like, well, let's take a step back. You don't, you might not need the whole bottle, you might not need half the bottle, right. you know, the product, is designed to be blended at a certain level to achieve, you know, the, the octane that you're looking for. Sure. So. We know a little bit about the backstory now. We know a little bit about the product itself. Mm -hmm. There may be some confusion out there based off of the, like the naming, the premium, the professional, the shot. Yeah. You want to touch base a little bit about what is the right boost, boostane for you? Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. So I've, I've obviously established myself as somebody that does not have the capability to name my product <laughs> properly. So I have boostane professional, Boostane Premium and Boostane Shot. You know, I, I might have got shot right, but uh, <laughs> Professional is is the one that's designed to go to as high as 116 octane. This is typically for the the, the bigger racing application, the higher horsepower, higher compression, forced inducted, uh, you know, applications. Gotcha. Um, the premium is more designed for those street applications that are obviously still tuned, advancing some timing, uh, want to get a little bit more over the, the pump fuel uh, results without the big can, uh, without having to worry about blending it as exact is yeah. necessary. So that was kind of the, the thought behind the Boostane Premium, yeah. which maybe should be called street or, or something. I know we have, I'm working on it, so I you're, promise. <laughs> you're really looking at like race applications, street applications. And then shot. Shot is actually also its own formula. It's just not a, a cleverly rebottled smaller bottle. Uh, this is for somebody who maybe fuel quality is an issue yeah. in some issues or in some areas. Take out west, you have 91 octane. So real bummer for somebody who has any forced induction. You know, a, a lot of the late models now are are, are smaller displacement but higher compression to be able to get that kind of power mm -hmm. that they're pulling out of them, especially the EcoBoost stuff and everything yeah. else like that. So this product's designed to twist off and pour the whole thing in. 
And if you have a, if you have a 21 gallon tank, it'll get you roughly two full octane numbers. And if you have a 16 gallon tank, it'll be a little bit more higher concentration, three full numbers. We actually, we keep a case of these shots next to the dyno because we'll end up, we have a truck outside right now, a uh, dealer brought it to us, brand new, guy wanted a blower on it. Mm -hmm. And it's got, you know, good old dealer fill 87 in it, right? Yep, yep, yep. So uh, we, we drained it all out, but you're, you're never gonna get all of the fuel out of the system. So we put 93 in it, we put a shot in it. Yeah. Truck made a great number. Mm -hmm. So. It's a, it's a lifesaver for situations like that, or if we've got a you know situation where like, oh, this car's been sitting for a year, we don't know the quality of the gas, we'll throw a shot in it, it keeps things safe. Yeah, the, the, at least my concept there with the name is that if you have an ailment, <laughs> you know, with your fuel, you, you take a shot. For sure. You know, or you get a shot. So uh, that might be the only one that I have branded properly. <laughs> but. All right, man, well, that's enough talking. Like I said, we've got a car out there on the dyno. Let's go get that thing uh, strapped down, pour some of this beautiful goodness into it and see what kind of see what kind of result we get. So we just made our first dyno pull. Yep. That was just on 93 octane. And from the looks of the graph, maybe not even the best 93 octane, which is you know, somewhat good for you. We're giving you the advantage here. Uh, yeah. So yeah. the car made 232 wheel, 299 torque. Okay. Um, which is about kind of what we would expect for just a basic bolt on ST. And that's something that we run into a lot is that 93 necessarily isn't always that 93 that you would expect it to be. Not all the same. We've had identical build cars that have just filled up at two different gas stations that have made yeah. as much as 50 wheel difference okay. based off of fuel quality alone. So okay. not all 93s created equally. Boostane's a great equalizer. That is, we. I, that's, I like that, the great equalizer. <laughs> We're not gonna make any tuning revisions. So okay. the car is tuned, yes. yes. It's got a VMP Performance custom tune on it, all right. but we're not changing the tune file itself. Okay. The knock sensors are set up in a way that if it sees an increase in octane, it's going to allow it to add additional timing, more power. Cool. Well, my recommendation, obviously, because we have the mixing chart, you know, overdoing it isn't something that I, I ever really recommend my customer to do because I don't, I don't want them to, first off, waste money right. if it's not going to get them any more performance. Uh, but at the same time, I don't want them to overshoot the mark, yeah. which kind of what we talked about before was that Premium is designed to kind of help you prevent from overshooting that yep. mark. So, you know, I mean, with a full tank of fuel like this, half a can of premium is gonna put you at that 98 octane that's gonna be well above 93, um, and, and hopefully be able to get some results out of that uh, adaptive knock sensor. Yeah, and for a street-driven car like this with some aftermarket performance modifications, that's kind of like where we're looking at. This is not a race car by any means. Yeah. But it is still, you know, a performance street car that's definitely going to benefit from the addition of boosting. So cool. Well, this is exciting. Yeah. Let's see. This is, this is a real world test. Here, <laughs> I know. So. I know. Is, uh, always get a little bit nervous. If it loses power, you're never allowed back. So <laughs> okay, that's great. No pressure. <laughs> no pressure. even on that second pull too? Um, got up to 112. That's not bad. 112? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. The intercooler. Putting in work. Levels. Damn, son. That's the third one he made this year. All right, so good news. Okay. We're allowed back to the VMP ranch. Whew. The car didn't blow up and it actually made pretty good power number. Okay. So after we added the boost stand with no tune file changes at all, we made 257, 328. I'll have Brian throw the graph up on the screen right now so you can kind of see, but honestly, the car picked up literally everywhere. Under the curve, over the curve, it's all that's over awesome. the place, man. It's a really good improvement from just horsepower in a box. So that's awesome. What, 10% overall is yeah, kind of what a you touch have? over 10% horsepower gain, literally from just dropping some boost in the tank and letting the Noxes just do their thing. Hey, that's, I mean, listen, 
but the end user, I think, I mean, 10% translates to seat of the pants. Seat of the pants, definitely something you're gonna feel. Hey, I like that, I like that. Well, thanks for coming out today. Thanks for learning us a little bit about what Boostane yeah. is and how everything got started. Shout out to Michelle for doing the tuning and let us use her beautiful Focus ST. But uh, yeah. if you guys wanna pick up some Boostane, hit us up here at VMP. We're a dealer of Boostane and uh, we're, we keep it in stock on the shelves all the time. Happy to help you guys out. If you wanna see more content like this, remember to like, share, and subscribe. See you guys on the next one. Yeah, buddy. That's awesome.